Hi there, my name is Dr. Warren Weekman and I wanted to give you a brief overview of the Health 2.0 Digital Literacy course that we're offering here today. So since early August 2010, the UC Irvine School of Medicine's iMedEd initiative has been on the cutting edge of innovation and integration of mobile technologies into medical education. Over these past two years, we've been very fortunate to collaborate and share experiences with programs launching similar innovative initiatives. To date, there are over 30 U.S. medical schools and a number of international medical schools who have felt that the incorporation of technology into the curriculum is necessary for the future of medical education. As our program developed, we've encountered some hurdles along the way. Things like learning curves, adoption rates, technical compatibility issues, all of which were relatively easy to resolve. However, the one question that kept coming up was the issue of context. Why are we making these changes? Why are we making these changes now and not when the students are residents or not when they're finished and practicing medicine as attendings or community physicians? And what will all this mean for them or do for them when they're taking care of patients? And most importantly, why is any of this even important at all for us to address? Medicine shouldn't necessarily be about technology, right? So my colleagues and I assumed that our medical students, being digital natives, would just get it and know how this fits into the bigger picture. However, the majority understood the how, but surprisingly, very few understood the why. And that's where this course comes in. Over the next eight sessions, my team and I hope to provide you with the broad overview of what the Health 2.0 movement is and what it means to be a digitally literate physician. Now, without sounding too much like an infomercial, we definitely have a lot of ground to cover in these eight sessions. We want to talk about the responsible and innovative uses of social media, the application of Web 2.0 tools to improve patient-physician interaction and physician workflows. We want to talk about content authoring, distribution using new media tools. We want to talk about e-patients, quantified self-movements, body tracking movements, telemedicine, remote healthcare, and the consumerization of medicine and healthcare. Now, after completing the course, you should be able to sort of curate the web or even curate an app store for your colleagues and patients and provide them with reliable and good, consistent information that they can take with them and use either personally or in their own practices. You'll have a better understanding of HIPAA and mobile technologies and how transferring patient data between colleagues and amongst colleagues while maintaining patient security can be accomplished. We also want you to have a better understanding of what consumer healthcare devices are out there and how they can be leveraged with your patients to maintain their health. Ambitious? Absolutely. Important? Absolutely as well. So what we're asking you to do with this course is to take some time out of your already, already busy schedules to listen, to read, we're asking you to learn, we're asking you to participate, and we're asking you to think. We're asking you to think about how technologies impact or will impact the way that you practice medicine now and the way that you'll practice medicine in the future. More importantly, we're asking you to think about how these technologies will impact the way that you teach medicine to your fellow students, residents, and attendings. But most importantly, we'd like you to think about how these technologies will impact the way that you teach health to your peers and to your patients. So with that, we welcome you to our Health 2.0 Digital Literacy course, and we hope that you'll join us for these next eight sessions. Thanks for your time.